everybody, welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Start off this video, we make our way, we come across a deserted village, very strange, and as we cut through a swamp, we run into some people I've never seen before. I want to call them kind of like a wild swamp people, so it kind of freaked me out a little bit. It was, uh, they just came out of nowhere, so pretty cool encounter I want to check out. After that, we run into Albert Mason again. That is the wildlife photographer, so I really like this guy. I always have fun doing his missions this time. Uh, this time, he wants to photograph some alligators. After that, Dutch wants us to kind of poke around and ask about the Greys. So they are a, a very wealthy family that is located near Rhodes. They own a lot of land, so we go kind of poke our head around there. And we end up meeting a young man named Bo. Bo is madly in love with a young lady named Penelope. So we end up doing a couple missions for the both of them. Pretty fun, good way to end the video. So I hope you guys check it out. Remember, hit the like button, leave me a comment. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get into part 19. All right, guys, we're back. Woo! Oh yeah. We're gonna go ahead and leave. We just got done with that uh, stagecoach. Let's tear down the camp. Oop. Wonder what happens if I leave without tearing down the camp. Where are we gonna start today? Lenny back home. Lenny needs to speak to me. Of course he does. I want to check this out. Dutch asked you to sniff around Caliga Hall or Caliga Hall to see what you can find out about the Greys. We'll do that. Still got a lot of map we haven't explored. Very exciting. Got here, got target practicing. Oh, look at the water the way the sun hits. You interested in a little friendly competition? Hell yeah, I am. You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Oh. Why don't we find out? Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon to aim, we let fly. That's right! You see that? Uh, ah. Whooped your ass. Maybe you were just outgunned. Here you go. As promised. Thanks, friend. Appreciate it, bud. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Here's that empty town I found. Yep, yep. I don't think there's any way around in this place. over here where it says stay out plague <laughs> huh. 
way in there. Oh, come on. Man, there's no way around in these places. Everything's all boarded up. Freaky. Place is pretty creepy. See what's in the outhouse. Can I take that X? No. I ain't getting in there. Weird. Where you at, boy? All right, let's continue, shall we? these guys what in God's name I'm here you're okay you're okay If you find this, I am dead. The night folk haunted my dreams, and now they haunt my w waking hours, too. I have tried to evade them, but it is only a matter of time. I feel before I am bested. The silence is overwhelming. Pray for me. Interesting. Nothing around here to find, really. That is pretty weird. Come on, boy. Yep. Whoa, easy. Just a little fishing spot. Idiot. Interesting. All right, let's continue. Yeah, good boy. I don't think I've ever really been out here. Maybe just pass through and then pay attention. Like Mr. Albert Mason's in here. Wonder what he's shooting today. Maybe crocodiles? I'd like to hunt one down and get a skin. Take more than a large reptile to consume you. Yep. They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. <laughs> How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. 
Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> The ten percent who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. First one's over here to the left. Let's go look, then. Can we find one? Line me up so nope. I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Oh, look! On that little beach. Boars! If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. It's got it! Quick, quick! I must get this shot! We caught him! In the middle of his dinner! This is history making, truly. Nature. Whoa. In all its glory. And cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't! Whoa! Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters we'll down go here west. Than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? Oh, there's one right there on the beach. Stop too long. Locals are gonna start getting curious. Just just there, please. So so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please. He's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might it might just save him from the taxidermist. Wait, wait, wait. Fine. I gotta turn him around. Yep. It won't let me get out of here. Come on. This monster stuffed in on display. Huh. That's the spirit. <laughs> out you go, then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. This isn't a hunting trip. Please put it down. I don't like this. Not one bit. Keep going. Through the palms. Oh, it disappeared toward the back of the island. You'll be fine. Just don't I hope you're slow. Quick, jump in the boat! Get on there! In, in, get, in, in, get. In, in. Put that away! We're conservationists, not killers! Stop him! What a specimen! Nearly Jeez. got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. Head southeast, good man. We have a final spot to check. 17 feet. 19 feet. 21 feet with a five foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20 foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12 foot skiff? No. This is in the There it is. Eight. Right. Right. There. In the cane rake. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. There. In the channel. You see its head? Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. 
Are you sure we should stop here? Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. <laughs> Go. There, bud. Oh, I just tried that plan over there. And it was like a gunshot. Oh, you were, you were one with the paint flowers. Tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Interesting. You can, you can say that again. Mind yourself out there. Unlikely anyone will be around next time. I will, Fred. I will. I'll stick to the market from now on. Not use weapons or cause trouble in Caliga Hall where you are acting. That's deputy for Sheriff Gray. I still got my badge on, don't I? Heck yeah. Pretty horses over here. Hi there. Hi, mister. Ma'am. Hello. Anyway. Hi there, folks. Hello. Pretty house. Do I go up to the door or do I say hi to these fellas? What do you want? This here the gray plantation? Yep. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. 
I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? <laughs> you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Wait. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> the thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mind, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck. Okay, boy. No, we gotta sneak around, huh? I really appreciate you taking those to her. You got it, bud. Gonna be in a gazebo up here. Can't see nothing with the sun. Oh, 
I can't see a damn thing. Oh, guys right over there. So here's my opening. Gonna be a guard over there. Oh, there's a guy walking over there. There's the gazebo. I was gonna say. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, there's a guy right there. Probably that gazebo over there. Found her. Penelope Braithwaite. Well, I guess I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever <laughs> been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I. But my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I, I don't, I, well, maybe a bit, but <laughs> here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. <gasps> Let's just, man, they gotta put me right smack in the thing. Let's just take a right. And stay along the shoreline. Oh wait, I can go to this uh, boat. Sweet. <laughs> well, that means my horse is uh. Horse is frickin' still there. It's 
Is he gonna follow me? There he is, big horn. Come here, boy. Look at such a good horse. Look at you. God, I love you. You're all right, boy. There, boy. All right, let's go get the letter back. Dum 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 dum. All right, boy. Actually, let's grab, uh, let's set up camp real quick. Get some sleep. Good man. Ah, ah, mm. Hey, hey, thanks for the horse, numbskull. Just had to ask for help, huh? Guy's gonna run away with my horse. Stupid son of a bitch. Get back here, big horn. Thanks for the dollar. Ooh, and a ring. Idiot. I don't know why it wouldn't let me use a uh, dead eye. So basically, they are filthy rich and got a lot of property. Is he? Is he in there? Oh, there he is. You got my money? <laughs> sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. 
He still hasn't paid uh, me for the letter. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. You got it, buddy. I hate how that leaves my red spot there. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know <laughs> what they're doing. There. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you! I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never <laughs> been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook now and then. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. <laughs> what was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Oh, founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> 
He's philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, we will. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. I have a feeling we're going to get in a fight. anything better to do. Oh, you always was Bo, a cocky little... Bo, where will we just leave him? <laughs> well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, well, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Nice. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land. Following you, Bo. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but I'm kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Oh, shit. Ah, ah, great. You're all right, boy. Back to what I was talking about. Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. <laughs> oh, you made a joke. <laughs> I Dude, really got love some money. You. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Thirty bucks, not bad. Boy. All right, guys. By the time I edit this down, I think I'll be about 45 or so minutes. So, me and Bighorn, we're going to take a break. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.